Hi, and welcome to the House Lane channel. Today we're going to be talking about installation for the WM530 range hood. Before we get started, let's unpackage what we have. Included, we have our chimney cover, we have our chimney cover mounting bracket, our user manual, and of course, our range hood, complete with two ring lights and baffle filters. We're also going to have our screws and drywall anchors included. Now let's take a look at the tools we'll need to get started. We'll have our drill, our tape measure, our level, pencil, goggles, gloves, and screwdriver. Now we're all set, let's get started. Now we also want to check for proper height clearance. From the top of our cooking surface to the bottom of our range hood, we want to have at least 24 to 30 inches of space. If you have a gas stove, make sure you have at least 30 inches of room between the two. This is very important for maximum efficiency and safety, so make sure we don't skip this step. All right, now we're all set for the next step. Now it's time to check the domestic power supply to make sure we have adequate earthing for the installation. It's always a good idea to hire a professional to make sure of these things. Now, as far as the ductwork goes, if you have it installed already, then you're all set. But if not, it's always a good idea to hire a professional for these sorts of things. Now, if we can, avoid any elbows upon installation. For a straight run, for this, we want to have at least 12 inches or 1 foot of space before we start any elbows. And now it's time for the installation. First, we'll measure and mark the position of the screw hole. Take a pencil and your level. Draw a vertical line on the supporting wall all the way up to the ceiling at the center of where the range hood will go. If you can't get all the way to the ceiling, that's okay. Just go as high as you can go. Next, draw a horizontal line at least 24 inches or at most 30 inches above your cooking surface. Then take your chimney bracket and place it on the wall about one inch from the ceiling or the upper limit. Make sure it aligns with your vertical line. And now we'll put our range hood into place and take our drill and screw it into place, make sh making sure it's nice and fastened. Remembering, safety first. And now we're on to the next step. And now it's time to take our ductwork and attach it to our adapter. Now a reminder, if you don't have ductwork installed, always hire a professional. But if you do, you're all set. Now we'll take our ductwork and our aluminum foil tape and we'll wrap it around, making sure it's nice and secure. And our last step, we're gonna plug it in to turn it on. And now we're ready to test drive this hood. Now it's time to check our range hood to make sure everything is functioning properly. So let's give it a push. Everything is running in an order. And now let's put in our screws for extra safety. All right, one more. Next up is our baffle filters. There are two of them. So first up, all right, one more, click that into place. All right, now we're set for the next step, which is the chimney cover. And now with our level mark, we're going to put our chimney bracket screwed into place. We're going to secure the chimney screws on the side from the cover, and we're going to slide the cover into place, and we're all set. And now our range hood is installed. Thank you for watching our video and be sure to leave any comments or questions below. And if you want to watch more videos, please subscribe to our channel.